Atkinson Hornell was born in Bacchus Marsh, Australia, but lived most of his life here in Kirkcubri after his family moved back in 1866. He studied at the art school in Edinburgh, but then moved to Antwerp to study under Charles Verlat at the Antwerp Academy. It wasn't until he met George Henry that Hornell began to associate with the Glasgow boys style. Hornell would stay with Henry and work in his studio when he was in Glasgow and Henry would spend a great deal of time in Kirkcubri working in Hornell's studio. They also sometimes collaborated on paintings. The first painting they collaborated on was called The Druids and it was partly inspired by a vision from a local Kirkcubri mystic named Sinclair. Henry also produced the painting A Galloway Landscape in Kirkcubri, which typifies the first wave of the Glasgow style. They took an 18 month long trip together to Japan to study Japanese art and the culture that produced it. But it took a strain on their relationship, particularly when on the return journey, most of Henry's works were destroyed. Hornell's works were mostly fine though, and he exhibited them to a fair amount of acclaim. After this, their relationship became quite distant. Hornell became part of the Kirkcubri Fine Art Association, along with the Fades. John was the vice chair and other artists in and around the town. It held its first exhibition in Castle Douglas in 1887. In 1892, Hornell's painting Summer was one of many exhibited in Liverpool of the Glasgow Boys' work. The exhibition was panned by critics, but Summer was singled out in particular. This did not set Hor Hornell back though. He was quoted as saying that his critics were not competent to express an opinion and therefore their harsh remarks are unworthy of consideration. The furor led to the sale of every one of his unfinished works becoming the foundation of his career, so it seems he was quite right to rubbish his critics. He bought Broughton House in 1901 and the garden there was inspired by that trip to Japan. He often used photographs to paint from, something which many artists were beginning to do and local photographer Robert McConchie took the photographs for him of local girls in his paintings like the Bluebell Wood. They would also be accompanied by a chaperone for the girls when Hornell took them out to model for his paintings. Because of his insistence that he did not need to move to the city to pursue his career, Hornell's presence brought many other artists on the train south to visit, paint and even to live, helping to found Kirkcubri's reputation as an artist's town. Hornell died in 1933, having remained in Kirkcubri for the majority of his life. 